about that. It's a really wonderful thing. Oh, hi, everybody. It's still Sunday, June the 1st, 2014. It is now 1400 hours, 24 minutes, and I'm not sure of the seconds. But uh, now I'm just, I did my Lexia Divina, which is holy reading. With, uh, Lexia Divina can include, but not limited to, the Holy Scriptures, uh, the, uh, the prayers, uh, the Holy Mass, and other prayers as well. But now I haven't had nothing to eat today except some uh, Pringles, cheddar cheese, uh, potato chips. And some cheddar cheese I had left over from the McDonald's hamburger yesterday. Now before you say gross, let it be noted that uh, the cheese was put on the side and was not melted into the burger. So, uh, but I'm happy to say after almost five years, I got around to buying me another barbell. This one's only 10 pounds because I'm just starting over. So I'll be doing my, I'll have something useful to do besides uh, being on the internet morning, noon, and night. I'll be doing my repetitions for, uh, uh, with this 10 pound, 10 pound weight. Now, I believe it's iron, but uh, here's what I'll be doing. Uh, first, I'll be going like this, and then like this, and then like that, and then like this. And each time I'll, I'll repeat it. And uh, I did my first rep last night. I went up to five. So, but, uh, after a few days of doing that, and I'm warmed up and broken in, so to speak, I'll be, uh, I'll be doing as many reps. I always listen to my body. When my muscle says it's had enough, or if I get the least pain in my elbow or other joints, I will quit for a few hours or even a day or two. But I'm looking forward to getting some, uh, increasing my upper body strength. Especially my my arms. I'm not I'm not really concerned about the aesthetics of it, but uh, yeah, because I have to uh, I have to tote things once in a while, lift up boxes and uh, and uh, what do you call uh, bicycles and tricycles and uh, yes, yeah, so it is advantageous to have more uh, upper body strength, isn't it? So now I'm just deciding, I haven't had really anything nourishing to eat since yesterday. So I'm just deciding, and I haven't been out of the house yet today. It is a Sunday after all, after all. But, um, oh, someone said, why don't you talk with your real voice? I'm not sure what it is. I've lived in so many places when I was young that I have what I call dialect drift. Like one accent and voice drifts into the other naturally and without me noticing it, unless I'm mindful. So I don't really know what my real accent is. Um, as you all know, I was raised in uh, the south of the United States, but uh, I didn't move there until I was seven and a half. So, But my mother tongue, the, the, the language I spoke uh, until, seven, until past seven and a half was... Uh, Vancouver English, Canadian English. So anyways, um, so yeah, I'm, after I make this video, I'm going to step out and uh, about a, a two-minute bus ride. The bus stops are right out in front of my house, uh, actually two doors down on my side, going north and west, and across the street, it's uh, right across the street from the house right next to mine. So it's very close and much different from where I lived for almost two years in the Fleetwood area of Surrey, where I was a 20-minute walk from the nearest bus stop. Unfortunately for, uh, fortunately for me, that 20-minute walk was a uh, very good exercise and kept my weight below what it is now. I'm so mad. So I'm going to get on the bus and go get me a Mexican Coca-Cola. 
and then I believe I'll go to Subway and get a sandwich. No, first I'll go to Safeway Deli and get some extra deli meat, and then I'll go to Subway and uh, get their cold cup combo. It's uh, it's below four dollars. Somebody says, "Why don't you build your own sandwich?" Well, you know, I don't want all that stuff. Most of I'd have to overeat, or most of it would go to waste. But uh, any of y'all that know Subway, and I reckon y'all do because they're everywhere as far as I know. I know they're in the United States as well as Canada. No, but uh, they have all kinds of goodies on by y'all. Now, the cold cut combo, the six inch, uh, is uh, I don't know what the meat is. I think it's something cheap like bologna or something, but I like bologna. And they always, I always ask for extra tomatoes, so I'll get six slices of tomatoes and lettuce, of course. And this time, I don't believe I'm going to get the uh, olives, because although I like olives, it sort of covers up the taste of the other. And green peppers. And what else? Um, cucumbers. And I will get jalapeno uh, peppers, but on the side. That way I can add them. When I need something hot, I can, you know, have the jalapenos. They also have what they call banana peppers. I don't know why they call them banana peppers. They're not really from bananas. They're just, you know, pickled peppers from, uh, you know, uh, red peppers, orange peppers, yellow peppers. But, uh, yeah, so I'm thinking I'm, I'm missing some ingredients, but I can't think of anything else. So, and I always get oil and vinegar or Italian uh, dressing. Because now you might ask me, what's the best submarine sandwich I've ever eaten? Now, besides that, them prepared by my loving family, I don't want to get in trouble. I'd have to say when we was in Pennsylvania Dutch country. Because they all, they call a submarine sandwich a hoagie. Leastways, they did back when I was a kid. And I tell you, there was a place called 14 Flags on the road from, was it Route 222? From Kutztown to Allentown. Anyways, it was right across from a uh, golf course or a mini putt or something. And uh, I believe the place was called 14 Flags. But they made the best hoagies. And I, I remember they would cut the meat and the tomatoes and everything real, real thin. So the flavor don't have no place to hide. Now, there was plenty of, of it. I mean, it was chock full of good stuff. But it was cut real thin. And that way, uh, you know, brought the flavor out. Plus, it was peppered and salted just right. And again, they had the uh, Italian or oil and vinegar dressing. So I really... You know, one of these days I'm going to buy me one of them deli meat slicers, although I'm scared of them because a friend of mine in 1975, when I was working at Bush Gardens, the old country in Williamsburg, Virginia, he cut a small piece of his thumb off with that thing, all for $2.10 an hour. And ever since then, I've been too scared to use one of them puppies. But, you know, when I get mine, I'll have a pair of, uh, butcher's gloves, you know, they're made of metal, so hopefully, and I'll be very aware of what I'm doing. So, anyway, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go get some, uh, go get me Mexican Coca-Cola, and y'all, y'all know the difference, right? They're in Mexican Coke is in the old glass bottles, made with 100% cane sugar, not high fructose corn syrup, the way Coca-Cola has been made in Canada and the United States since about 1985. You can really taste the difference. And I tell you, Coca-Cola, ice-cold Coca-Cola, drinks way better out of a glass bottle than out of plastic or aluminum, or aluminum for uh, the colonies. And what the hell was that? Sounded like some else ice sloshed around while it was melting, but I don't have no ice around the shop. Anyways, I don't have no screens for the windows, and uh, I just killed me a wasp. I hope the PETA people won't come after me. But yeah, I killed that sucker, because my deal with bugs is, if bugs are outside where they belong, I leave them alone. They come into my room, I try to shoo them out 
with a, a shirt or something. If they don't go, then I kill them. So, folks, that's about it. So I'm going to go uh, go find when the bus is leaving, and that's pretty easy to do because they got a GPS, uh, a ground positioning uh, service, uh, through my uh, smartphone. And so uh, the local transit is called TransLink. Up until a few years ago, it was called BC Transit. Now, it's still BC Transit in the rest of the province. It's only the lower mainland, what they call Greater Vancouver, or Metro Vancouver, that the, uh, the, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Yes, I am a narcissist. And why not? I got to entertain myself. Nobody else is around. I shoo everybody away at night because I like to sleep alone. As most great geniuses. I'm not saying I'm a genius, but I'm not a retard, neither. So, uh, oh, excuse me, someone whose IQ is below that of 80. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And then when I get back, I study mathematics online for a day. I shall feast on the intellectual pleasure of studying more of integral and differential calculus. Oh, I think the dude next door heard me talking. He must think I'm nuts. I shouldn't have been talking too long. Oh, I live in a room and house. Not because I have to, but by choice. It's cheaper. And I'm saving up for something classified. So, no, it's no big deal. I'm just saving up for a car. And uh, to pay off uh, some car insurance so that I can... Uh, obtain a street legal vehicle and insurance therefore won't. Well, if it's street legal, then it's a given that it's already insured, right? So anyways, folks, oh, I acquired a new book about the equipment of uh, World War II on all sides, the Allies and the, uh, you know, the Axis. And, uh, oh, what the hell, I'll show it to y'all later. I'm anxious to go and get some tea. Okay. Now, here's our thought for tomorrow. Now, all, all y'all who ain't religious, you can, you're excused now. But here's our word for, for tomorrow. Or, yeah. Gott, der Herr, ist die ewig helfende Medizin für unsere todkranke Welt und Menschheit. Auf Wiederhören.